Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Zoli Sharma here. Welcome to my little main cave. That's where the crazy things happen. Well, yes, you haven't heard about my 3D printed full size boats for one or two persons project in a while. Well, that project did not die. And in this video, I'm going to give you a complete update on what is going on and where the project is. Guess I know you can make a guess why the project stopped because winter came and it's so freezing, so cold out there that by just looking at the river water, I just want to stay away from the water sports. So I'm waiting for a good weather, but hey, the project is still alive. These two LotMax 3D printers, Shark V2 and Shark Plus, it took them one whole month of non-stop 3D printing. There were failures, there were sleepless nights, but I'm very, very happy that I was able to build this. So yes, in this video, I'm going to give you a complete update. Let's take a look at what I designed and what problems I met when I had to 3D print such a big boat. I will just show you only one problem at the moment. And then you can see a very quick time lapse of how I put it together and what are the next step that the boat is waiting for and where is that boat, all right? So let's take a look at it. So I have my airboat design here in Fusion 360 and as you can see at the left side we have this MRL, MRML, MRR, MRR. So I have basically coded them and marked them. So similarly when we go like on top here we have this front part and the third line. So there are three layers of slicing ah oh, man Ooh. so bring me my marker red marker yes now I can start marking all these parts so should I start from the top layer or start joining from the bottom layer these two will join like this are slightly curved Nah, they are not curved. Just holding these two together. Okay, so now um, this should be Next step is to put the car body filler, the polyester putty, on the airboat, the 3D printed airboat. And guess what? I have just beaten the evening traffic and got myself the polyester putty. The best tool to beat all kind of traffic jams is the Dwartalk 13X, the 6000 watt beast, mashallah, and I got my putty polyester putty and check this out I just 3d printed 
a basket for my electric scooter. Uh huh. Looks good. My polyester putty. And it's time to start working on the airboat. And the kayak has finished the putty job, and putty is nice and tough. So I would send it and get it ready as well. Well, now. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will start working on this one to fill it with the polyester putty. Send this one, and then comes the fiber glassing. And after fiber glassing, yes, I'm thinking even after the putty job, I will take these, you know, kayak and airboat and put them in water to test, to test how do they float, and after that, put fiberglassing two layers and install electric motors and stuff okay before I start the putty job I thought I would show you how the boat actually turned out all the parts looks really nice I do have these rails under to keep the boat straight at least a bit and won't let it drift in the water when I'm turning it has a good depth you know it's deep in there I was thinking to 3d print uh, you know another board that will go in which is in fact is the part of original design but I didn't print it I thought it's good to sit in the deep of the boat so to balance this CG you know if your weight is more downward it would be nice for boat to be more stable and this is the upright direction as you can see, yes, there's a lot of depth in here. And I also printed these like kind of supports. I don't know how good they will be, but at least they have a stronger uh, print under there, you know. So probably they will be giving the boat more strength. Front has a nice curve going up. Everything looks good. On the back still I will put one seat to install the propeller and motor you know the airboat propeller and motors controller everything and down here will be one piece of wood for me to sit in the middle of the boat now as you can see there's a gap there are many gaps and that's where I need the putty job okay welcome back now that you know the project is still alive I just need to putty the boat right and yes, I did not tell you that I just learned during these winter holidays that I can carbon fiber cover the 3D printed parts, making them much more stronger and with a premium look. How did this idea came to me and why did I learn that? It's because as you can see right here in the background, I have a full size electric paramotor, 3D printed electric paramotor prototype yes this is also a project i want to fly world's first full 3d printed electric paramotor except the motor and controller and other electronics will not be 3d printed but hey the whole frame will be 3d printed so in order to make that paramotor frame really strong for those monster power motors i learned that i can 3d print petg very strong and after that carbon fiber skin it twice and it will be really very strong. This project will come on soon, but hey, imagine a 3D printed boat with a carbon fiber skin on the out two layers of that. That will be lightweight and super strong and it will skip the water because it's gonna be smooth. Yes, so that's what is my plan. After the putty job, I will put a carbon fiber layer on it and it will be a beautiful 3D printed carbon fiber boat. And then guess what? A 15 kilowatt electric motor is spinning a 32 inch propeller that pumps out 45 kilograms of max thrust is gonna sit on the back of that boat, effectively turning it into an airboat. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I just need to add two wings on that and I might be able to turn it into a ground effect vehicle 
throw the water and maybe even take off on that boat. So yes, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for this project is still going on, not dead, and I'll bring you more updates very, very soon. If you have any feedback, any good suggestion, ideas, and tips, drop a comment on this video and I will definitely take advantage of your expert advice. Have fun, give this video a big thumb up, stay subscribed to my channel, and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you can watch all the upcoming interesting, exciting videos, including the eGlide V4 PMP Lite and Pro and Excel combos flight videos coming your way very soon. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.